Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to utilize a Classic Press new security page that has been put there to handle all things that are security uh, in terms of uh, the different users. So some of my favorite plugins are Sukuri and WordFence and they always create their own sub menu which ends up uh, clutters up my whole dashboard in that main site. So uh, Classic Press has decided that all um, plugins that deal with security should um, put all their menu pages here so that people don't miss uh, out on making the settings right. Some of the bonus points that do come with uh, activating that setting for the a security page of Classic Press is that you get a little icon here that talks about security and that when someone clicks on it they actually go to your security page. So when we go to the Classic Press uh, security default, the default page which gives you the instructions, uh, we can see that one of the plugins we installed which is called CP Brute Force Login Protection uh, already has its settings page already listed here. So CP by default, once you add that, um, the add security page uh, setting in your plugin, it picks up all those details and it will throw this your plugin right there for you. So we're going to go to the developer side and see uh, what's available for us there. So we have an overview of uh, how this particular functions. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to just copy this particular piece of code and I'm going to open a new plugin page in our plugins folder. So I'll just create a new page and I'll call it a CP security demo plugin and um, I'm just going to drag and drop this in my Visual Studio code editor and when I drop it there uh, in my Visual Studio code I'm now ready to code. So what I'm going to do is open a new file which I'll just call the same thing. Okay, I'll call it CP security demo the PHP. Now I'll quickly open up my PHP and then uh, I'll use a shortcut for I'll start my plugin. Now uh, this shortcut comes from a little extension that I wrote for my for Visual Studio Code and it's uh, it's called a uh, Classic Press Snippets which uh, is downloadable, you can download it from uh, the by just searching Classic Press Snippets and Auto Completions. So that allows me to always write plugin, uh, the plugins quickly. Uh, so we we'll call this uh, CP, let's just go back to our folder, we'll call this CP Security Demo and then we'll just go for and add the name and then we'll just quickly change this out and we'll just give it a, a simple example.com and then uh, this plugin does wonders, that's good. So for now we shall just give it a prefix uh, of skippy security then demo. So once that is done, we are now ready to start writing our plugin settings. So some of the things that we copied earlier from uh, the developer page here is this functionality. And what we're going to do is just come back to our page here and paste it. So it's going to look for whether the function exists and this function only exists in Classic Press. So what I'm going to do is it's going to add my plugin which I'm going to call the awesome security plugin. Something where uh, this is a little bit cheesy but uh, let's just allow uh, for things to go on. We'll call it awesome seg and then of course we'll give this our city-security uh, uh, demo because that's our our particular, this is what we get our file here and then of course I'll give this a, a proper function and I'll call it a, my output function. So of course we'll quickly copy this here and then we'll start the function that will echo that out and what we're going to do is that we're going to use the default, uh, we're going to use some default styling and, and HTML that 
you can use in our classic press. So PHP. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to echo a div with a class of wrap. Uh, I'm using Emmet that allows me to do that. And then I'm going to put in an H1 tag which I'll call awesome security uh, page settings. And then I of course I'll add a, an HR tag there and I'll go for a, a paragraph tag and I'll say this is where all my security settings are going to be. Then I'll save this. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just go back to my plugins. So I'll go to plugins here, install plugins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my security demo here. And then when we go to our security here, we do not see this coming up. Now, I've found a big issue with uh, just having uh, this particular piece of code in here. And um, there's something on the, in the, in the documentation of the security page that talks about the menu slug. Of course, it's a menu slug. And they advise you to use this. They say this is one of the biggest brochures that are there. So what you do is uh, you can just use this particular code here. So what I'll do is that I'll go and add it into my function and that will allow me to use this slug right here as a variable and just drop it here in my code and save that. So, so we have the functionality that we need. So we need to register this using uh, the add admin uh, we need to use the add admin hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to add action, which is the hook, and then I will add add menu, comma, and then we'll add a new function which we shall call CP security settings uh, function. So we'll call it just that, and then what we're going to do here is just call this function. Uh, and then I'm going to close off that function here. So we have an if statement that's saying once we start the admin menu, let's call this function and it will check if the security page is available. Uh, if this function is available, then we'll call our function to the uh, classic press. And if it's not, then we'll use traditionally how we've always added. Uh, our pages. So you would use something like add menu page, blah, blah, blah. So this functionality is actually only in classic press version 1.0 that we have here in our corner. So if I reload my, my plugins page here and come back to security, you're going to see that we have our awesome secure, awesome sec uh, plugin listed among security. And then when we click it, we have our page that we started here. I'm just going to go back to the plugins again. And you'll see that our demo plugin actually has this little icon that is already there to show that it's uh, security. And it still takes us to the same page. Uh, and then if we go to the security of classic press, security, the default page that is there, you'll find that it's listing even my plugin here. So when you click it, you immediately go to the settings that are available. Now what, now I'm going to try to refactor one of uh, the plugins that we do have here and I'm going to use uh, the security, security. So I'll just open up this and go to security, security scanner, which is the plugin. I'll just add it to my VS code here and then I'm going to do a quick search for where we add th that functionality. So I'm just going to use the inbuilt search function uh, that, that is in VS code. So I'm going to find in files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for add menu page. That's the functionality we are looking for. Looking for add menu page. That's the functionality we are looking for in our, in our pages. And we'll find it that it is actually here. So 
this is the functionality that we are looking for and what I'm going to do is just introduce actually our classic press setting here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just come back here and copy this if function and the else, else statement and then I'm just going to come back here to globals and what I'm going to do is just come here, dump this function and then say, you know what, if we are not in classic press, I don't need to, we don't need to, to duplicate what is already there, we're just going to rename and have this here, but outside of what's happening uh, here, uh, we're going to just have this same content here, so, so and then uh, copy this. And then just come and drag it here. So we have our function that we need to open. We don't need the manage options because this has already been set by default in our classic press. So the other thing that we need to do is just uh, add our menu slug. However, I have a feeling this is not going to work because it's going to be detecting a different page. So what we are going to do is we're going to use a global uh, which I'll call menu slug. We're going to just use a global. I'll cut this and save this. Then I'll come back to our main page, which is a sukuri.php. And then immediately after all these things that are happening, I'm also going to create another definition, a new definition. I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to define our menu slug here. So we have our function there and I'm going to call this uh, maybe security slug. So security slug, I'll just copy this again. Save this here, come back to the globals here and I'll change this menu slug into what we call security slug. So I'll paste that and then save. Um, now we'll go back to our page and reload. And I see something is broken. Let's just quickly have a look at what, what's happening. So we got this right. This is well closed. We have that. I'll just go to the global page and look up if the function is there. Okay, uh, let me save this and then go back to our page and reload. And we have our security page loading and now we have our Sukuri here and then we have Sukuri also being listed in the plugin security settings. So when I click on it, we actually have all our settings working just fine. We can go to the different things, we can go to the dashboard, we can go to the firewall, if we want. Uh, we can go to the settings, we can go to the settings and we see that, but just look here, it's now looking a lot cleaner, we don't have that much clutter, so if I was able, uh, if I also did the same thing to WordFence and just went and add an if statement and added my security page and the settings, I uh, would be able to have a proper cleaner dashboard without using any other plugins. So that's the beauty of uh, using the add security page uh, in Classic Press. And your code will function very well. If you don't have this, if you're using WordPress and this function definitely doesn't exist since it's only in Classic Press version 1.10, um, your code will run normally here. So give it a try out, convert your plugin today and make it Classic Press friendly. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.